the California Department of Justice is currently trying to threaten and bully many of my subscribers. Now, this is something that's talking about Curio and Relics and FFL03 exemptions in the state of California that lets you do a lot of things. I've done a dedicated video on that. I'm not gonna get too into that today. Today, we're gonna talk about how the California Department of Justice is bullying subscribers of mine. I have the receipts here. The DOJ is lying about what is legal and what is not legal. They're changing their tactics from how they've tried to bully these people in the past. And the California Department of Justice is proposing a 500% increase. They wanna increase the amount that you have to pay to do an ammunition background check by five times. We're gonna talk about how you can fight that. I'm gonna have a link to the CRPA so that you can get involved in that. But if you think the DOJ, the California Department of Justice is full of evil government cronies, let me know down in the comments, fuel the algorithm, all that jazz. So when you live in the state of California, we have to deal with things like ammunition background checks, meaning we can't just get stuff shipped to our home. We also have to deal with firearms purchase limitations. Curio and Relic firearms are also more limited and restricted. So if you want to get around the firearms restriction rationing, and if you want to have ammunition shipped to your door, I've been recommending people for, shoot, six, seven years now to get a Curio and Relics FFL03 and a certificate of eligibility with the state. Because what that allows you to do is get ammo shipped to your door and not deal with a lot of other restrictions. It's very nice to have. In the past, the California Department of Justice, when people apply for a certificate of eligibility, they have tried to coerce people to submit a copy of their federal firearms license, 03, their collector's license. Now, keep in mind, a collector's license is not a license to do business of buying and selling firearms. It is a collector's license. Do not try to go into the business of flipping those firearms for money as a main source of income. Now, they've tried to convince people, hey, like, we're not going to process your application unless you send us the copy of your FFL03. Well, first of all, they don't need it. it. It is not needed whatsoever. Secondly, it's not legally required for you to give that to them. So when they tried pulling that shit with me, sorry for cursing, when they tried pulling that business with me, I sent them an email saying, you need to show me where in the penal code or where in the statutes of regulations and whatnot, it says that I have to give that to you because if you cannot provide that with me, to me, you must proceed with my application. They've tried doing that a few times, every single time, they end up pushing it through. And that's what I've been telling people to do for a long time now, and it's been successful. But over the last few weeks, I've been getting more and more comments from unique viewers, and I've been getting comments from gun store employees saying, hey, our customers are currently dealing with an issue. The DOJ is refusing to process and in some instances canceling the application for a COE, a certificate of eligibility, which is, this is straight up illegal. They are supposed to do it. They are requiring that people submit information that they do not have the authority to require. And then when the, the citizen says, I will not be giving that to you, please show me why I need to do that. They're canceling or not processing their paperwork. I have an email. So basically he was in a situation where the, he applied for an FFL03, had not received it yet because the ATF takes a little while. He got his certificate of eligibility process going with the DOJ, but then the DOJ responded saying, we're not gonna continue processing it until you provide us with your FFL03. It says, per the California statutes relating to collector COEs, all mention that an applicant should be federally licensed prior to obtaining a COE for a collector. This is false. This is straight up false. It does not say that anywhere. It does not mention it whatsoever. For example, Penal Code 26970 states that licensed as a collector pursuant to Chapter 44, commen commencing with Section 921 of Title 18 of the United States Code and regulations issued pursuant thereto. You notice how they throw in a random penal code and then just saying licensed as a collector that means nothing it's just a snippet that in the context of the penal code which will show you means nothing in regards to requiring that you get your FFL03 prior to becoming a curio or a certificate of eligibility holder 
Additional requirements require a COE. The statutes relating to COEs are identified in Penal Code 26970A4, Penal Code 26585, 27670, 27966, and 31700. So I'm going to show you all those, and I'm going to show you why the California Department of, Department of Justice is just straight up lying. So if you look at here, 26970A4, it's basically saying the waiting periods do not apply to the sale, delivery, loan, or transfer of a firearm if all of the following conditions are met or are satisfied. Sorry. It lists the requirements to be exempt from a certain law. Nowhere does this penal code say that in order to get a COE, you first have to get the FFLO3 and then prove to the DOJ that you have it. It does not say that whatsoever. It does not say that you need to first get a Curio and Relic FFL and then get a COE. It doesn't say that at all. We then go to Penal Code 26585. Now it says Penal 26500 does not apply to the delivery of an unloaded firearm that is a Curio and Relic as defined if the delivery satisfies all of the following conditions. And then again, it just mentions that the person's a licensed collector pursuant to that federal code. Now, if we skip over to that federal code, we go to the definitions in section 921, the term collector means any person who acquires, holds, or disposes of firearms as curio and relics, as the attorney general shall by regulation define, the term licensed collector means any such person licensed under the provisions of this chapter. All that means is that there is a definition federally of collector, and in order to be exempt from this specific law, you have to in addition to many things, be a collector. Nowhere does it say that you actually have to be a collector in order to get a COE. Doesn't say that at all. Penal Code 27966, same thing. This is an exemption to a law that if you meet all of the requirements, you're exempt from another law. It does not say that you need it in order to apply for a COE. Penal Code Section 31700, again, is just a simple exemption for people that have certain licenses. So, the California Department of Justice is lying and bullying people so that it can collect more information of yours. Personally, I'm of the opinion that you should continue to try to tell the ATF or the California Department of Justice to kick rocks, and that you do not have to provide that. You can link the penal codes and show them and explain to them, but ultimately, I think this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. If they deny you, reach out to some organizations and see if they can do something because the DOJ does not have the authority to force you to provide an FFLO3. If they did, they would have my FFLO3 information, but I told them no. <laughs> and many other people have told them no. And the DOJ went, a went ahead and processed that information. So do not listen to the DOJ. Tell them to kick rocks. Or you can just do it if you don't want to deal with the hassle and you just want to get your stuff you feel free, do what you want, but personally, I wouldn't. Now, the California Department of Justice is additionally proposing to increase the cost of an ammunition background check from $1 to $5 if there has ever been a better time to get a Curio and Relics FFLO3 and COE so that you could bypass the background checks for ammunition, get stuff bulk ordered to your door, now is the time. If you want to fight that potential increase, you can do so. I'm gonna leave a link to the CRPA's website where you can find more information to get going on that process so that you can make a public comment so that you can have your voice heard and potentially stop this increase from going in, even if it doesn't affect you because you already have your COE and FFLO3. So let me know what you guys think down below. You guys know the drill. Have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.